In this video, I will walk you through how to plot Fourier series of a square wave function along with the square wave function using GNU Octave or MATLAB. To support my channel, you know what to do. First of all, I will plot given square wave function calculate Fourier series of given square wave function, followed by plotting Fourier series of given square wave function, and compare with fx for validating. We'll work with a periodic square wave function fx as shown in figure. The value of fx at minus pi to 0 is minus 1, while fx is 1 between 0 and pi. It repeats every 2 pi. First of all, we plot fx using GNU Octave or MATLAB between minus 3 pi and 3 pi. As a first step, we'll plot fx between minus pi and pi, and then we can extend it to minus 3 pi to 3 pi. To plot the square wave function, we'll begin with clear all and close all to wipe off existing variables and to close existing figure windows. You can simply ignore line number 2 because I added to control figure window size and position for video recording. Next, I'll use a variable x in order to generate a vector for x coordinate. To control a size of vectors x and y, I'll use a variable n. In this case, I use 100 for a smooth curve, but you can use different size for your needs. Since we can start with minus pi to 0, I can use a built-in function linear space. Since it requires the lower and upper bound, followed by the size of vector, I will use linear space minus pi comma zero comma n. Next, I will define a variable y for y coordinate of fx. Since fx equal to minus one and minus pi to zero, we will use a built-in function ones as a minus ones one comma n. Once we'll generate 1 by n vector having the elements of 1 and minus 1's 1 comma n will generate a size 1 by n vector having elements of minus 1. We can plot fx at minus pi to 0 using a built-in function plot. I also use a blue dotted curve and increase 9 thickness of 3 by using line width 3. I also add x and y labels and increase the font size to 36 since the default font size is too small to read, and also add grid to figure by having grid on. When you run, it shows fx equal to minus 1 at minus pi to 0. But to improve the figure format, I will customize the lower bound and upper bounds of x and y, x ticks, and tick labels to change the tick based on pi, not numeric numbers. Now you can see a better figure format. Now. I will plot the second part of fx, which is 1 at 0 to pi. I will double the vector size to have the second part and also add fx equal to 1 for the 0 to pi to the variable y. When you rerun the script, you can see a square wave function in figure window between minus pi to pi. Next step is to extend it to minus 3 pi and 3 pi. We can simply triple the size of vector x and add additional two sets of square waves to the variable y. Then you can see what you expected. If you are familiar to Fourier series, please skip this section. But I just wanted to ensure that we are on the same page before we plot Fourier series. A Fourier series of periodic function fx is an infinite sum of sine and cosine functions, meaning that the periodic function fx can be described by the infinite series of sine and cosine functions. If the period of given function fx is 2 pi, Fourier series can be 1 half of a0, which is a constant, an infinite sum of sine and cosine functions. an and bn are Fourier coefficients, and these can be evaluated using an integral of fx multiplied by cosine nx or sine nx over one period divided by pi. First of all, we'll calculate a0 using the formula. We need to take an integral from minus pi to pi, but fx has either minus 1 or 1 depending on the range of x. So we'll split into two integrals. Between minus pi and 0, fx equal to minus 1, and between 0 and pi, fx equal to 1. 
the first interval gives you minus pi and the second one result in pi so we'll have zero basically a naught equal to zero what a naught equal to zero means is that the average of fx equal to zero graphically the positive side of your wave cancels out the negative part so the average of fx equal to zero which makes sense the next step is to calculate a n we need to multiply cosine nx to take an integral over dx from minus pi to pi followed by dividing by pi again we have to split into two parts since we have either minus one or one within minus pi to pi you can go through the math however since fx is odd function and cosine nx is even function fx cosine nx is odd function so the integral of fx cosine nx over a period will be zero so a n equal to zero in fact the meaning of a n is how much even function component is in the periodic function fx since a n is related to cosine nx but given square wave function is odd function a n must be zero lastly we need to determine b n which is related to sine nx like i said given fx is odd function b n must be non-zero bn can be predicted by integrating fx sine nx over dx from minus pi to pi dividing by pi we can split it into two using minus one and one for fx for even n bn equal to zero and only for odd n it will give you four over n pi so we'll use an equal to zero and bn equal to four n pi odd n only for plotting then we can compare with the square wave function. To plot theater series of fx, we can generate another variable yy for y coordinate of Fourier series. The first term is 4 over pi sine x over 1. We can simply type yy equal to 4 over pi sine x over 1. Then to add yy to existing square wave function plot, I can add x comma yy followed by r minus to use red color i also increase the line thickness to 2 to clearly read when you run the red sine wave tries to mimic the square wave function which is not too bad next step is to add the second term we need to add the second term cumulatively so we can use yy equal to yy plus 4 pi multiplied by sine through x over 3 you'll see better approximation from Fourier series. You can continue to add the higher order terms to predict the square wave function accurately. You can continue to add the higher order terms manually, but this approach takes some efforts if you want to increase the order quite a bit high, n equal to 31, 51, or 101. To minimize this effort, you can use a loop statement. If you do not know how to do, please check my other tutorial video about the loop statement. I will use for loop. First of all, I will define the order for Fourier series using n. Let's say n equal to 3 as a, as a starting point. Then I will define yy using zeros to initialize the variable yy having all the elements of 0. Then I can cumulatively add higher order terms. I use k as an index to loop from k equal to 1 to n by skipping 2. Remember that we must have only odd numbers we can skip by 2 to odd number n. When you run the script, you can see Fourier series curve. Since you have n equal 3, it may not be very accurate, but you can increase it to 11 and 31 and 51 to see the improved accuracy. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please consider subscribing my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos in future. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.